Throughout history, humankind has shared one particular innate trait, the desire to explore. We find ourselves able to travel the planet from the comforts of our own living rooms, giving us the opportunity to explore vast, hyper-realistic worlds teeming with the life of the wild. In this series, we'll embark on journeys that take us to the very ends of the Earth, as we seek out everything from majestic pronghorn amidst the boundless mountain ranges and grasslands of Colorado, American alligator along the ever-widening rivers of Mississippi, to the elusive Eurasian lakes in the brutal Russian tundras of Siberia. This is the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is KC Planet. The Mississippi River. The second longest river in the world, second only to the Great Nile River of Northeastern Africa. For 2,350 miles, this mythic waterway slithers its way south from Missouri, splitting the United States in two until it reaches the coast and pours out into the Gulf of Mexico. Teeming with life, it is home to a vast array of some of the most versatile and interesting creatures on the planet. Nearly 400 species of fish are known to reside below its surface, and above ground you can find everything from wily raccoons and gray fox to perhaps the king of these lands, a 13-foot-long prehistoric monster. In this episode, we'll set foot along the winding embankments and marshes of Mississippi, through the quagmires and along its unrelenting tree lines as we search for the ever-elusive albino American alligator. After being notified of the possibility of an albino gator out here on the Mississippi River, I decided to take up the offer to stay at a friend's cabin just outside of the river's edge. I arrived last night, and this morning we're going to track out and get out onto the swamps and the marshes and see if we can do a little bit of gator hunting. Let's go inside and I'll show you just kind of what I've been dealing with. Just a little humble little cabin. I'm super happy that my friend allowed me to actually stay here. And uh, we've been drinking probably just, you know, maybe maybe a few too many pops, but we did he did have a case of pop, and I had to be getting into the... Into, into, the, into, the, into the pop a little bit. We got into a little bit of wine last night. A little bit of canned food. We're keeping it light, keeping it simple on this trip. Got into the banjo a little bit last night too. A little bit of banjo playing. And uh, even decided to, I, would, I would make the bed this morning. So it's a good start to the day. We're going to get out. We got a little bit of sunshine, which isn't usually the norm out here in Mississippi. Usually it tends to be raining or cloudy, a little bit overcast. But we got some nice weather today. And we're going to get out on the swamps and marshes to do a little bit of gator hunting and see if we can't maybe find this albino gator there have been three separate sightings in the past week of an albino alligator apparently on this part of the mississippi river so we're going to go out here we're going to look for the albino but we're going to see if we can just see some gators along the way and do a little bit of gator hunting now guys the main thing when it comes to gator hunting is you want to have a weapon that can penetrate through into the neck or the brain something powerful enough so today we've got the grelk drilling rifle this weapon is a triple barreled hybrid of a shotgun and a rifle it's got a double barreled 16 gauge shotgun as well as a single barreled rifle chambered in 9.3 by 74r so this is a beast of a weapon this is going to be my main weapon for this hunt but I also like to have a backup. So today we've got the 308 AR as well in case I need to, you know, in case I miss that first shot or in case I fail to take down the gator quickly with that first shot, I can take this thing out and try to get a follow up before it dives back down into, into the water or into a swamp or just, or just runs away and I can't get a follow up. But basically our main task today is to try to find this albino if there is indeed an albino alligator. The task at hand today is to see if we can find it. The largest alligator in the world so far weighed in at just over a thousand pounds and was 15 feet 9 inches long. Gator hunting is no joke. When you're out gator hunting, the main thing is to try to stay calm. We're going to try to keep an even keeled level head today and make sure that just in case we do come into contact with a big alligator, that we're not going to do anything stupid, we're not going to do anything careless that might result in an uh, in injury or, well, fatality as well. We're going to stay focused here. We're going to try not to make any, any dumb decisions. I'm not going to shoot an alligator uh, unless I really feel like I have a perfect shot. If I feel like there's any chance that I could miss or not take down the gator quickly, the last thing I want to do is injure a gator and have it uh, sneaking off and, and slithering back into the swamps. We've got a gator bellow out here. We've got to be so careful. I believe that bellow came from this side. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to cross... 
the river here. We're, we're basically, we're at a part of the river that's shallow enough that I can cross it. But as we move out in this direction to the west, we're going to start to get to a part of the river where we won't actually be able to cross. There's a warning call from a gator just to the northwest. And it is a male. Got a male gator out there. Now, what we're not going to do is shoot every gator that we see. That's not, it's not something I'm interested in doing on this hunt. What I am interested in is if we do see a big male, if we see, a, if we see any real big males, we are going to shoot those. And if we see this albino, we're going to shoot the albino as well. In my hunting career, I have never seen a rare alligator. I've never seen an albino alligator. I believe there are melanistic alligators in this uh, in this area as well. We've seen some piebalds. They're relatively rare. Um, but as far as the very rare, you know, the really, really rare alligators, I'm still yet to see one. And I would absolutely love to see them. They are very, very rare. It's very rare to see an alligator with either an albino or a melanistic pigment. It is not something that every hunter gets to see. And if we could see that today, that would really make this trip just absolutely just so special. So the main goal today, don't die, <laughs> don't get hurt, and don't die, and don't drown in the swamp. And the second goal to that is to see if we can find the elusive albino gator, if there is indeed one in this swamp. At its widest point, the Mississippi River spans over 11 miles across, which works out to just over a staggering 193 football fields. And there's our first alligator of the day right there. I had a glimpse of it, and uh, I'm not sure where he's gone. He kind of disappeared behind this grass here. I don't know if he's gone into the swamp. I was not able to get a good spot on him. Oh my gosh, I'm hearing all kinds of things around. I'm not sure what I'm hearing. I'm getting a little bit nervous out here, I'm not gonna lie. Knowing that at any point in time, you might be surrounded by hungry alligators out here. It's not It's not a feeling for the faint of heart. Oh, 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 that's probably him right there. I can just barely see him. Yeah, that's very likely him right there. Mid-sized male gator there. That's our first one of the day. Love to see it. These creatures are absolutely majestic and just some of the most beautiful creatures. They're basically dinosaurs. And to be out here and to be seeing them is just a remarkable experience. Not like not really like anything anything else that you'll ever encounter. Oh, we've got another one out there. Oh, that's a that's a big boy. That is a big gator. Now the other thing to take into account here is it can be very difficult to tell the pigment of a melanistic from say like a darker brown pigment or even sometimes the olive pigment in, in in certain lighting it can be really hard to tell so that guy right there I think if we have an opportunity on him we're gonna shoot him I actually also just got what sounded like a call from a raccoon we're gonna see some raccoons out here today we might see some gray foxes there he is right there a decent sized male raccoon He's out there just kind of resting in the forest. Now we're gonna see some other wildlife today too. We're gonna to see some wild raccoons, some wild gray foxes are probably gonna be out here as well. We might even see some white-tailed deer. Big male alligator made his way across the river and he's probably hanging out somewhere on this side with me. So what I might do because I can't get across the river at this juncture, I might just make my way up, try to sneak up, see if we can get a closer look at him. We might not be able to shoot this one, but it would be really, really uh, fascinating to be able to see a large male up close. As we make our way northwest along the river, the river begins to narrow again and we find ourselves coming back into swamp-like territory. I'm a little nervous entering these parts because while the camera was off, I heard the loudest gator bellow that I've heard of the day. There's something big out here. I'm also hearing a lot of footsteps to both my right and my left, mainly to my right. Definitely got more gators up here. And I heard a very loud bellow. That wasn't the bellow that I heard, I don't think. It felt like it was closer, it felt like it was louder. But we've got... These are warning calls. These are definitely warning calls. From a male gator off to my right. I'm not sure if this might be the big boy that we saw earlier. Oh, 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 oh. But there's a gator there. I 
wasn't able to get a good spot on him. But he's taken off. He's on to me. As long as he's not running in my direction. Oh my gosh, he's coming back. Wait, what's going on here? I can't get a spot on him. I can't spot him. Come on. Okay. That might have been the male we saw earlier. But he's going to take off in that direction. And I'm going to let him. And I'm just gladly going to make my way this way. I don't want anything to do with that guy. He's not big enough for me to shoot. I want something a little bit bigger than that. And also... Oh, and there goes another one. My goodness. What is going on here? That's our big boy right there. Oh my gosh. That's our big boy. That is a huge gator. It almost looked for a second there like it might be a piebald pigment. But I believe that is probably just an olive colored or dark brown alligator. I'm going to let them go. They're completely onto me. I've completely spooked them. One of the main things that you want with these gators is you want that element of surprise. If there's no element of surprise, if they're onto you, it becomes a very dangerous situation very quickly. And that's the last thing that we want to get into today. We don't have the element of surprise, uh, no bueno, and we probably won't we probably won't be going for uh, a hunt on a gator that knows of our existence. Another mid-sized male alligator. I didn't even see him. He was perched right there, just past that bridge. Let off a bellow and then just absolutely dipped into the river and he'll he'll go under and he could be under there for a few hours for all we know they can stay under there for quite some time when they do get spooked that is something they tend to do he might just go right to the bottom of the river and just hang out until he feels like uh, any imminent danger might have uh, passed through large adult male American alligators tend to be relatively robust and just bigger than most other crocodilian species of the same length. Captive males have measured anywhere from 9 feet to 13 feet and were found to weigh anywhere from 200 to 350 kilograms. Don't know if the microphone is going to pick this up out here. But I decided just to sit down because I'm, I'm hearing things all around me. I'm hearing footsteps. I'm hearing what sounds like a gator swimming in the river. There's definitely something out here. And as we travel north along the river, what is now kind of winding its way west, I'm overcome by a sense, even though we're out here in such imminent danger with these alligators, overcome by a sense of just peace. After a three hour hike through the swamps, I decided to head back to the cabin to start drying off my boots and have a hot shower. In the morning, I plan to head north up to a different part of the river to hunt for more gators and see if we can find the elusive albino gator. Tomorrow is another day. Today we're heading out a little bit earlier than we did yesterday. Today we're heading out in the morning, whereas yesterday we headed out in the early afternoon. Now, from what I've been told, there are a couple key hotspots in this part of the river for big male alligators. The first place I'm going to check is just north, up through these uh, fields that I'm kind of trekking through, just up through into this area. We're going to check this spot, and we might actually go a little bit south from there and check this spot on the river as well. If we're unsuccessful here in finding our albino alligator, then we'll make our way to the east and over to this spot in here. I've got intel that this is a very good spot for male alligators as well. We're approaching the river here. Now we're probably going to start to see some alligators. This is the, uh, the beginning of the river out here. Yep, there's one right there. Medium-sized male gator, it looks like. There's already one out there, so we're gonna try to keep uh, keep quiet here. I don't want them to know. I don't want them to have any idea that I'm coming through here. We should have more of them. This really, really shallow part of the river here, um, and it's just shallow for kind of a long way there. Before it kind of opens up and slopes down into the deep river. The alligators do like it out here, and that would be another one. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh he knows I'm here. Oh, there's a couple of them. Wow. That's a female. Oh, that's a female. We've got females and males out here together. She's gonna come back in. There's another male out there. My goodness. 
We've got a lot of alligator activity out here. The fact that we've managed to dodge rainfall out here is quite incredible. I'm, I'm a little bit shocked that we have had such good luck with the weather. As you can see, the clouds are breaking, the sun's peeking through, and the blue skies coming in as these clouds break apart and roll out. That's amazing. We had sunny skies yesterday as well. We haven't seen any rain yet. And uh, anytime you're out here in these parts along the Mississippi River, chances are you're going to see some rain, if not, if not a lot of rain. As the river widens, as I make my way west along the river, I'm not seeing a whole lot of alligator life in these parts. So I decide we're going to make our way south to this next spot on the river that I would really like to check out. And I have heard is full of male alligator activity. We've actually got some bobwhite quail up there from that, from that call. That is definitely a bobwhite quail. So we've got quail out here too. And there should be turkeys in these parts as well. Amazing. I would love to see some turkeys out here. We've got Eastern turkeys along the Mississippi. They're a beautiful, beautiful species of turkey. Absolutely gorgeous. And the bobwhite quail are hanging out today too. And you love to see them. But you also, it's also hard to see them. <laughs> They are very small, and it seems as though, oh, we've got one right above me. Oh my gosh, and it's gonna land. It's gonna land right there, and I might just shoot it. I might just shoot it, I've got my 22. Let's see if I can hit it here. I didn't get it, there's a bunch of them out there, wow. Love to bag me a quail today on this hunt, and I say uh, there's no reason not to. I don't see why we wouldn't. Let's see if we can get one. Take a quail back to the cabin. Cabin today. That would be just be amazing to take a quail back to the cabin today with us. But I've got to get it with the 22 if it's gonna happen. I got it. Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Iron sights. Iron sights with the 22 Virant. Let's go. Got ourselves a quail, a delicious quail for later. That's gonna be huge. Wow, and it actually looks like it might be, it might actually be the red brown variety. And if so, that might even be a rare quail. It is red brown. Wow, and it's a decent sized male. It's a 211.3. That is almost a gold scoring red brown bob white quail. I think they might be some type of uncommon, but I haven't seen one for a while. It's been quite a while. A delicious treat for later. The word Mississippi comes from the French rendering of the word Mississippi, which was derived from the Ashinabe name for the river Mississippi or the Great River. So after checking the main areas that I wanted to check on this hunt for the albino or for a big male gator, there is one more spot that I do want to check after being unsuccessful so far, and that would be the coast, the shore over here. I want to check along there for gators. I know that there's a lot of alligators along there. I think both male and female, but I think mostly male. So what we're going to do, we're going to travel over there, and that's going to be the last place that we check on today's hunt. Big buck, really big white tail buck. I just spooked these uh, these white tail out of here, and I've got a huge buck in that herd. Really nice buck that I'm probably gonna have to come back for. Diamond potential. There's a gator right there. I can see one right through the trees, just barely. I can't get a spot. I don't know if it's a male or a female. I don't know anything about it really. I mean, it looks quite dark too, but it is in the shadows. We're looking for a big boy alligator. If we can't find that albino, we need it. We need a big guy today. We need to take down a big guy. I, ideally, I still want to find that albino gator. But right now, it's starting to feel like we might just have to take down a big one instead. Or maybe a melanistic. Even a piebald would be really cool at this point. But I gotta see what this guy is. But unless I can get a spot on it, we're not gonna know what it is. That looks like, uh oh, a common female, but she's coming straight towards me. Why are you coming towards me? Nope, 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 nope. Okay. She went into the water. 
Yeah, that's the last thing we want. We don't want to get charged by an alligator out here. This guy is still content, just hanging out. Oh, he's moving. Looks big. He's on to me. Is there two of them? There's two of them. There's two of them. Oh my gosh. I might just have to flush them out or just shoot one even. I could just shoot this guy. Got a shot right there. I don't know if I got him. Got the follow up. Got the follow up to 308. There's a mythical there. I don't know if the mythical is the one I shot. I don't think I got the mythical. I think I got the smaller male. He didn't die. He didn't die. <laughs> wow. I felt like that was a perfect neck shot. I felt like it should have been good. And I thought for sure we'd be good with that follow-up, but looks like we did not get a good kill shot there. On that male gator. I don't see any more gators in the distance. At the moment. Couple big gators here. A few of them. There's like three of them here. Female. Oh my gosh, Let's see if we can spot them all. There's a five medium male. Mid-sized male. And another female. A male with two females. That's just not gonna cut it. That's just not a big enough male. So although we were unsuccessful today in finding the albino gator, we were unsuccessful in taking down a big male, it's not altogether an unsuccessful hunt. Whether we find what we seek out to find or we don't, we always learn something and we come back stronger the next time. Sometimes that's how these hunts go and we can only hope the next time the luck will be more in our favor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out episode one of this series if you haven't already seen it. Episode three will be airing Saturday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care and be safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.